Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we are going to flush the transmission and the differential fluid on this E36 M3. That's a maintenance item that is highly, highly recommended, especially if you bought a used car like this with a lot of miles and you don't know the last time it was changed. The process is pretty simple. I will go ahead and explain that in a few moments. I'm also going to give you a little bit of updates on, you know, where we are with building this for the first track event and also upcoming miles that I have or maintenance item for the car. Follow me. As you know, I purchased this car with over 200,000 miles. It had a lot of little issues that I mentioned that I'm going to address and that's exactly the plan. Now, so far what I have done already is fix my ABS ASC light. Although the light did come back the other day and I'm still checking, making sure that probably is the sensor. So that's another thing that I'm going to check for another video, but I'm not too concerned about that because that alone cannot prevent me from going to the truck. Now, another thing that I'm going to be doing, for example, is valve cover gasket because I do have an oil leak, a very, very bad oil leak on the car and I'm not sure exactly where it's coming from. So my plan is to, you know, redo all of the seals on the engine. So I want to do the valve cover gasket now and probably maybe in a few months also do the oil filter uh, uh, gasket so that those two, you know, items are good. Then my plan is to clean up the undercarriage of the car clean up the inside of the engine and see if there's any more potential leak. Now, if there's any other leaks, then I can pinpoint easily where the leak is coming from, then fix it from there. But that's the plan, right? Now, another thing that I want to do in terms of maintenance is I've already ordered and I actually have it right down there, um, spa plugs, a valve cover gasket, like I mentioned. I have also new ignition coils because I mean, with this car, I'm pretty sure this could be the factory spa plug, hopefully not, but I'm gonna change that just to make sure the ones that I have, are, you know, is fresh. Right now I'm doing the transmission and differential flush. I already done the oil change. I have the brake flush uh, kit also here down in the box from SCP Euro, no commercial here. So that is coming. I've purchased some used M3 brakes. I painted them blue. I'm going to install those on the car. Now, I know that a lot of people like to go with the big brake kit or Brembo or the one from Porsche. Right now, I'm trying to do this on a tight budget, right? So I purchased a used set of M3 brakes that were very good for a low M3 car and I'm planning just to kind of swap it for a beginning. Maybe if I see that I need, you know, more braking power in the future, then I can plan on, you know, swapping for a big brake kit. But for now, because I'm trying to stay on the budget, I'd rather do more on the maintenance side compared to like mods and things like that. That's why I kind of wanted to stay uh, with, a, with a stock brakes. I also have a used set of Max Penny Rock front coilovers with some BC Racing back springs is a long story when i do that installation i'm going to let you guys know now that's only because i have the factory shocks for this car for the front now the back when i check the car facts i saw that the back they replaced it maybe i think about forty thousand miles ago that's why i said you know what i can just get the spring and then all those things i purchased it for extremely extremely cheap prices so I'm working on the budget, but in the future, I plan on having a very, very good track ready suspension, not what I have right now. This is just to kind of get me going because this suspension is really, is really old, like it's 23 years old to me. So I definitely have to change for something newer in the meantime while I'm waiting to get a proper set. Now I'm going to have a full detailed video on the car, all of that. I haven't even... Uh, done a review on the car yet because I'm trying to fix all these little issues so that I can address the reason why I also wanted to change certain items like the suspension um, you know because the ride is kind of a little too soft and bouncy and stuff I have that video coming up sometime I just have to film it and uh, provide that to you guys so for today's video what we want to do is pretty much just change these transmission and differential fluid now for the Transmission are no UC D4 ATF. Yes, you might think what this is automatic fluid. Yes, it is true that it's really meant for automatic cars, but because this is a newer version, this can also work for manual cars. A lot of people on the forum are running this on the truck cars and they have great results. So I say, you know what, seeing these guys that have a lot of experience in you know doing truck stuff, recommend this 
let me go ahead and try it on the box itself it says automatic and manual i'm not sure if you can pick that up so that's why i decided to get this this is a good 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 fluid now in terms of the differential i went ahead and just selected the red line because that's again what a lot of people are using on the track just like that one and this is just a kit that i'm going to do now you can use this also for daily though so it's a good thing you know kind of best of both worlds now this is pretty much going to be needed because when you are flushing you're going to remove the old fluid and use this fluid lubricant pump to kind of pump the new fluid into the engine not the engine i mean to the transmission and differential now i have two because i don't want to mix both fluid one will be for the manual transmission and the other one will be for the differential now these are just the bolts to kind of secure back for example this is for the differential the drain plug and the, the the filler same thing for the transmission let's go ahead now under the car and start the process so i'm going to start with the transmission then after that i'll do the differential now one thing you want to make sure when you do this is that you have to jack the whole car the whole car has to be flat on a flat surface you don't want the car to be on an incline either on the back or either on the front because there is no way of actually checking like you have an oil dipstick for you to know that the engine oil is the level you have nothing like that when it comes to the transmission and the differential so the only way for you to know the level when you are filling back up is to see if something is coming out when you remove the drain plug if you have a little tiny bit coming out when you fill it back up that's exactly where you want to left out so when you fill it and it's full and you have little dripping if that's exactly is the same type of stream that you had when you you know remove the drain plug then that's what you want to stop that's where you want to stop it because that's exactly where the full will be for your car i'm going to go through the process when uh, you know explain that to you guys when i'm under the car so um, let me go ahead and jump in really quick we are under the car now this is the drain plug for the transmission and this is the refill plug you see they look alike and these are 17 millimeter bolt when i was doing my shifter here i cleaned this little area here and right now it's back to oily so i'm not sure if there is a leak like right here but you know only god knows now this is the plug that you have to remove first the reason being is if you drain your transmission oil and then you cannot fill it up because you cannot remove that bolt then you screwed because you won't be able to drive your car again until you fill transmission fluid that's why as a precaution you always want to make sure that you remove this one first just to ensure that you can fill before you drain now if you cannot remove the bolt at least you still have all transmission fluid in there and you can still use your car for the time being until you can remove that to do the flush so this is the bolt that we want to remove first then once we remove that we're going to see if there's anything coming out of it if there's nothing then whenever we fill and then something is coming out that means it's full and we need to wait for all that little excess to drain until there's nothing coming out so the behavior of the oil when we remove this bolt is pretty much what is going to be what we want to see when we are filling back up to know that the liquid is full in there so let's go ahead now and remove this bolt 17 millimeter and then drain the plug from by removing this bolt right there all right All right, so as you can see, there is nothing coming out here. So that means whenever I'm filling back up here, I, I shouldn't be having any liquid dripping. So this is exactly the behavior that I want to see whenever I know that this is full. So if it drips, then I should just wait until it stops dripping. Then I put back the fill plug and I will be replacing this plug because I have a new one. Now let's go ahead and remove the drain and we are good to go. All right. I have that there. Alright. Some old fluid, 23 years old, maybe. Oof. Alright. Now it's just a matter of waiting for that to drain and then putting everything back up now the process is the exact same thing for the differential now what i'm going to do now is wait for this to drip probably because i only have one drain pan i cannot start the differential side so i'm just going to have to wait here finish this then go into the differential but 
the process is the exact same thing on the differential. I, I went ahead and put back the bolt here and tightened by hand. Now I'm not sure of the torque specs, but I'm pretty sure there is torque specs. I try to mimic exactly how tight it was when I remove it. So, but I didn't use the breaker bar to tighten it. I just used the, you know, normal ratchet and kind of just went in there by hand. When it was too strong, I kind of just left it there. Now it's time for me to go ahead and fill the plug here. So I have my transmission fluid in this mobile one bottle. The, I've cleaned up the bottle before I, and I uh, just put the fluid in there and I have this little pump. So what you do is pretty much you put this in there, kind of like that. Make sure that this goes all the way in really good. And then it's tight like that. You just go ahead and start pumping. You know, you will pump until it kind of just start coming out a little bit. Maybe I want to have the drain plug, the drain uh, bucket around here, just in case it start spilling out. So let me go ahead and plug and uh, pump this uh, this way. All right, so I can go ahead and do the pumping. All right, so fluid is going in. As you can see, it's now red fluid. It's going back in there. That's just the process that we're going to go and do until everything is pushed out. So as you can see right now, I'm kind of out of that first bottle. That's why you have two bottles. So I'll go ahead and fill up and then uh, continue to pump once I am back up. I filled the second bottle. Now let's go back to pumping. All right. As you can see now, it started dripping. So that's about, that means it's full. Remember that when I removed the fill plug, you know, nothing was coming out. So now that it's like this, I have to wait until, you know, it is done dripping just to ensure that I don't overfill. All right, so I think at this point, I want to go and just close it. That would be good for me. And that's it. Transmission flush completed. We are now on the back of the car and this is the differential. As you can see, mine is really rusted. So someday I will have to swap it out, this out. So this is the drain plug and this is the fill plug. As you know, we always want to make sure that we remove this one first. After we remove this one, then we remove that one. Now to remove it, you need to use a 14 millimeter uh, uh, hex here. So pretty much like that and that should be able to get in there. It's pretty tight, but then you remove. But as you can see, even with this one is a little tight, then on the top here is gonna be very, very challenging. So what you do is, when you have it like this, you use a 14 millimeter wrench and kind of just use that to turn. So that's what I'm going to do here on the top to remove the fill plug. And on the bottom here, hopefully I can put my 38 you know, wrench right here and then kind of unscrew this using that. I'm not going to film the process because it's like, like I said, it's the exact same thing when you, you know, fill this up or drain this up the same way as I did the transmission as you saw in the early portion of the video. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this. And then once I'm done, I will give my final comments and end the video. All right, guys, I am done doing the transmission flush and the differential flush on the car. Now, one thing I want to point out is that the two bolts for the differential were so stuck, I had to use WD-40, I had to use time and patience to be able to remove those bolts. I strongly believe that, you know, this car never had a differential flush because when the fluid came out, oh Lord, it was dark, midnight dark, like Michael Blackston dark midnight, it was exactly like that. So. Now that I've changed that, I'm pretty happy. So I have to just go ahead and, you know, remove the car from Jack's 10, taking on a quick drive around the block just to make sure that everything is good. Now, if I see something that is wrong, I will check to see, make sure that there is no leaks or anything like that. But that's it, man. This is a job and anything that you need, again, 17 millimeters for the 
transmission and then 14 allen for the differential those are the two things that you need jack up the car make sure that the car is on the level plane and then go ahead and remove the fill plug first just to make sure you can remove that then the drain plug that's how you drain it then you drain from the fill plug and after that you tie everything back up that's it process is very simple so i'm very happy that you're able to enjoy this video if you like this type of content make sure that you subscribe to this channel so that this channel can grow i have a lot more things to do on this car just like you heard on the beginning of the video so thank you again for watching stay tuned and stay blessed bye